Hello, what shall we do today? If you want to visit your garden, choose this blue balloon. Of course, if this is your first time here with us, or if you want to find a new garden, you can grab onto the red balloon. Here we go floating anywhere we please. Holding you tight as I can You're safe as a honeypot You always will be And I'll be right there when we land You're snuggly, woggly Snug as a buggly <laughs> You're snuggly safe in my hands Oh my! Oh, hello. I'm Winnie the Pooh. I seem to have sat upon something that feels somewhat like a... Oh, a thistle. It must be Eeyore's. He won't be very happy about this. <laughs> but he's not ever very happy about anything. Perhaps if we brightened up this patch and planted a garden full of all kinds of good and wonderful things, it would brighten up Eeyore. And yours, thistle too. Hmm. I think, think, think it's worth a try. I know you can make a special garden here, and I shall help. Well, hell <laughs> by dingy! If there's a garden to be gardened, somebody's gonna need a wheelbarrow, and I suppose that'd be you. Oh, better put your name on it, so Rabbit won't get it mixed up with his. Then I'll have something to haul things back to your garden with. I can come and go and move all sorts of stuff, wherever and whenever you need me to. Hmm, this wheelbarrow is missing some... Uh, something. Why, of course, it needs your name. Might you put it there? You can click on the proper letters to spell out your name on the wheelbarrow. When you have your name on the wheelbarrow just the way you like it, choose the green balloon and we're on our way. I C U P L U Y Oh my, how I love beginnings! Let's hurry! The Hundred Acre Wood is full of good things for gardens and gardening. All we have to do is find where they're hiding and bring them back. And here's where I shall put my honey pot, so that if you ever need to know more about what's going on, it will tell me. Because honey pots are my very good friends. And I will tell you, because you are my very good friend too. There are several paths we may take. Each as good as the next, none better than the other, since any way one goes with a friend is a good way. By going neither south nor north, and not in the least bit east, we shall go west. We shall make a friendly visit to see a friendly piglet. My friends are working so very hard in the garden. I'm sure they'll be happy to see a batch of my famous carrot cupcakes and zucchini cupcakes. Maybe you can help me add my oh-so-very-special frosting and a smidgen of tasty sprinkles. Oh, it makes a very small tummy feel very largely empty. We have five batches of cupcakes to prepare. We can use those acorns on the edge of the table to keep track. Hmm. 
We need to know how many cupcakes we have all together, so we'll know how many sprinkles we need. First, let's frost the carrot cupcakes on this tray. We can count them as we frost them. One, two, three, four, five, five cupcakes. Oh, good. Now let's frost the zucchini cupcakes on this tray and count them as we go. One, one cupcake. Five cupcakes. Plus one cupcake. Equals. Now, we add how many we counted on the first tray to how many we counted on the second tray. That tells us how many cupcakes we have all together. Now we know how many sprinkles we need. There's a sprinkle jar up there on the shelf with a number on it that's the same as the number of cupcakes. Let's find it and sprinkle the cupcakes. Five cupcakes plus one. Oh, how one. Oh my goodness, you are so very good at adding cupcakes. Not a single sprinkle wasted. Oh, here comes another very nice batch. We start by frosting the carrot cupcakes on this tray and we count them as we frost them. One, one cupcake. Oh my, now we can frost and count. One, one cupcake. One cupcake. Plus one equals now one cupcake plus one cupcake equals two cupcakes. Oh, that's very good. And you can begin decorating the cupcakes now. Oh, I wish I were as good at adding and decorating cupcakes as you are. Hooray! More yummy cupcakes are coming. When we frost the carrot cupcakes on this tray, we can count them too. One, two, two cupcakes. Wonderful. Now, If by chance you'd care to hear once more about how a game is played, click on the green balloon. And this is for clearing away things, which is to say, if you'd like to start over from the very beginning, click on the green balloon. Then things will be clear, if that's quite clear. This, this, this is for clues. One, one cupcake, two cupcakes, plus one cupcake, equals. It seems all we need to do now is add up our nice two, oh my. You make me so very proud. I've never seen a friend add cupcakes better. Or sprinkle them better either. Oh goodness, more delicious cupcakes. While well, we're frosting. One. Two. Two cupcakes. One. Two. 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 two plus. Two cupcakes. Equal. Two cupcakes. What a very nice job. What a very Oh, good. Frosty. One, two, three.
three. Three cupcakes. Oh. One. One cupcake. Three cupcakes. Plus one cupcake. Equals. What we do now is count up the number of cupcakes we frosted and pick the jar of sprinkles with that number. Three cupcakes plus one cupcake equals four cupcakes. Oh, good! It's time for you to decorate the cupcakes. Oh, thank you so very much for helping us with our work in the garden by being such a good adder <laughs> and finisher of cupcakes. Nope, garden just doesn't measure up without a ruler. <laughs> I'll get it to your garden. To play this game again, click the pink balloon. To play this game at the next level, click the orange balloon. To go back to the woods and find something else to do, click the light blue balloon. Oh my! Please come back again. I've always got a new batch of cupcakes baking because we always have more carrots and zucchini growing. Now we can drop by my house, although I wonder if I'll be at home at this hour. One, two, three, four, five, that's the way we begin. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, sing along and join on in. Oh my, look at all the smack rolls I've collected from my garden. Oh, as much as I would like to, I can't eat them all now. I think I could save a smidgen or three for later, if you wouldn't mind helping me put the fruits and vegetables from my numbered baskets into the jars on my shelf. When I try to count, I always get confused as to what number comes after the number that comes before two. <laughs> I would so appreciate your help. The numbers are... One. One, two, two, three, three. Now that's what I call counting that really counts. Good job. Four. Four. Five. Five. Six. Six. Ooh, that was very nice counting. Seven. Seven. Eight. Eight. Nine. Nine. If I could count as well as you, no one would know I was Winnie the Pooh. Ten. Ten. I am so very grateful for your oh-so-careful counting. Eleven. Eleven. Twelve. Twelve. Thirteen. Thirteen.
The numbers in my harvest like the way you counted them, and so do I. Fourteen. Fourteen. Fifteen. Isn't it nice the way the basket that needs to be emptied lights up to show you the number of the correct jar? Fifteen. Sixteen. Sixteen. Hooray! You counted wonderfully. My harvest is very grateful. Se Seventeen. Eighteen. Eighteen. Nineteen. Nineteen. Thank you for counting so well and putting my smackerels right where they belong. Twenty. Twenty. Thank you so much for your number wrangling. That means good counting. The harvest would never have gotten home without you. Twenty-one. Twenty-three. 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 Good think, think, thinking, and good counting, too. Twenty-four. Twenty-four. Twenty. Twenty-five. Twenty. Twenty-six. I have never seen jars so nicely counted. Thank you. Twenty-seven. Twenty-seven. Twenty. Twenty-eight. Twenty. Twenty-nine. You've counted correctly and put the numbers together. Now my fruits and veggies are very happy. Thirty. Thirty. Oh, how nice. All my correctly counted jars are happy, and I shall be happy to have them whenever I'm hungry. <laughs> Which means I shall be happy all the time. Tomato plants. Now you'll have the best part of a sandwich growing in your garden. And now that you've filled up my pantry with all those wonderful smackerels, here is a gift for your home. A set of goody jars arranged quite properly and in numerical order, thanks to you.
If you would like to have this lovely banner of numbers for your very own, just head over to the little printing contraption. To play this game again, click the pink balloon. To play this game at the next level, click the orange balloon. To go back to the woods and find something else to do, click the light blue balloon. Thank you so much for all your excellent counting. The baskets will be full again soon, so I hope you'll be back to count again soon. One. Number one. We've only just begun. One butterfly plus one butterfly equals two butterflies. Oh, I believe that's a jaguar jumping rope and wearing a red shirt. If a circle is large or small, it's still a circle after all. Now we'll head in a due northerly direction. It's time to visit Tigger and Roo and all the bugs they're busy making friends with. <laughs> Along and join the fun, we're playing a buckly game. First look about and sort them out, cause they don't all look the same. There's so many colorful bugs galore. Just because they're bigger doesn't mean there's more. And if they're smaller doesn't mean there's less. You have to count, don't just guess. If you can count, please help us out in our buggly wuggly game. <laughs> <laughs> We're collecting some beautifully beasty looking bugs for the garden, right, Roo? Yeah, Tigger, and mine are even ickier looking than yours. Well, maybe so, but I'm sure and certain I've found more crawlipipples than you have. <laughs> nah, uh Tigger. I think I got more bugs than you do. Hmm, I think maybe I know how to settle this. Our friend here can help us put the bugs under your magnifying glass into your tray. And the bugaboos under my magnifying glass into my tray. Then we can count and see who has more. I'm pretty sure it's me. We'll see about that, Half Pint. We got five bunches of bugaboos to put away. <laughs> Those little leaves will help us keep track of things. Each time we finish a bunch, one of the leaves will turn green. If you can remember, I'd like to collect all the brown bugs. <laughs> if you will please recall, the green crawlabibbles belong to me. <laughs> Oh boy, don't even think of stopping. Count the critters in each tray and pick the tray with more. That's it. Four is more than three. <laughs> Remember, I'm collecting the blue bugs, okay? <laughs> Ooh, let's not quit now. Count the bugs in the trays and choose the tray with more. Exactly! Two is more than one. <laughs> Remember, I'm collecting the yellow bugs. <laughs> ah! <laughs> 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 
Yes, sir. That's where she goes, all right. <laughs> Yes, sir. That one is for me. -e. <laughs> oh, don't stop. Yes, five is more than two. I really want all the pink bugs, okay? Well, <laughs> that <laughs> you can't stop now, half pint. Count the crawlies in each tray and choose the tray with more. You're almost there. Try again. Oh boy, five is more than four. If you can remember, I'd like to collect all the brown bugs. <laughs> Way to go, kiddo! <laughs> that was some swell bug picking and choosifying. <laughs> Say <laughs> <laughs> <Fain>. no. <laughs> <laughs> yes, five is more than two. Way to go! You did it just right. <laughs> On account of your fantastical ability to sort out all the bugaboos from the bugaroonies and figure out who has more, I award you this official Hundred Acre Wood Certificate of Merit. If you care to have your Hundred Acre Wood Certificate of Merit with you at all times, or to put it up in your own room, just touch that little printing contraption. I'll be a gentleman and escort this ladybug back to your garden. To play this game again, click the pink balloon. To play this game at the next level, click the orange balloon. To go back to the woods and find something else to do, click the light blue balloon. Bye for now! But hurry back! We can always use your help collecting those creepy crawler bibbles. <laughs> now we shall drop by to stop in and pop in on our good friend Rabbit. <laughs> No, no, no! This simply won't do at all! This is not a proper rain dance! You can't just dance any which way. A, a rain dance requires you to follow a pattern. If we're going to make a proper rain dance, we need to come up with a pattern. Then, and only then, may the garden get some rain. Shall we see if our friend will help? <laughs> Here's how you can create a proper rain dance pattern. Now, if you look carefully at the top row of that quilt, you'll see pictures of our friends displayed in a sequence. That's how we see who dances first, who dances next, and so on. Start at the first empty space on the quilt, then grab the right picture from the tree trunk and put it in that empty spot on the quilt. Just make sure every row looks the same as the top row. Now, when you're done, we may just get some rain. In my experience, it takes five rain dances to make it rain. The blue water in the barometer over the fireplace will help us keep track. When it reaches the top, it'll rain. I'm sure of it. Now, look at the top row. The sequence for this rain dance is... Tigger, Tigger, Pooh, Pooh, Tigger, Tigger, Pooh, 
Oh my, who do you think comes next? Poo? Oh my, this pattern is very exciting. I can hardly wait to see you make all the rows the same. Tigger. Poo? What perfect patterning. Now it's time to dance the rain dance pattern you've made. Come on out and do your dancing thing. Bounce, Tigger, bounce! I wonder if the rain falls in the very same patterns you so well completed. Ooh, the rain dances are working! I'm certain there will be rain if we just keep going! Now, look at the top row. The sequence for this rain dance is... Tigger, piglet, piglet, tigger, tigger, piglet, piglet. Do you know who comes next? Tigger. Piglet. Tigger. Piglet. Piglet. Oh, good job. Now we can see our friends dance the rain dance pattern you made. Oh my, the time has come for dancing feet. Oh my, Tigger dances so fast his stripes can't keep up. I'm certain we'll get happy rain from happy rain dancing. Oh, my stars and whiskers, the rain dances are working. Do keep going and I'm sure it'll rain. Now, look at the top row. The sequence for this rain dance. Piglet. Eeyore. I have never seen a more delightful pattern. Simply continue making all the rows look exactly the same. Pick. E. Piglet. Eeyore. Oh, how delightful! Now our friends will follow the rain dance pattern you just made. Come on out and do your dancing thing. Woohoo! Eeyore must be taking dance lessons. I think learning patterns and sequences makes even the rain smarter. The rain dances are working. Oh, it'll certainly rain if we simply don't stop. Now, look at the top row. The sequence for this rain. Eeyore. Poo. I 
really do like the pattern you're creating. Just repeat the same order in each row. Oh, uh, that's not the first empty space. Let's try again, shall we? Eeyore? Thank goodness for you. Now we can see the rain dance pattern you just made. Now it's time for the finale. <laughs> Dancing feet. Oh my. Tigger dances so fast his stripes can't keep up. Do you suppose, if I learned sequences and patterns as well as you, that my roof wouldn't leak in the rain? Oh, <laughs> just as I predicted, the rain dances are working. Please don't stop now. Now, look at the top. Whoopsie, please try again. Oh, goodness, what a nice pattern this is. You can finish it simply by making all the rows look the same. Eeyore? Piglet? Oh, splendid work! It's time to see our friends dance the rain dance pattern you've made. Let the good times roll. It's time to dance. <laughs> Pooh can dance faster than he think think thinks. Oh, what magnificent rain! Your vegetables will be very proud and wet because of your very own rain dance. <laughs> you might want this umbrella in your garden when it rains. And when it's sunny, it's great for carrying shade around in. To play this game again, click the pink balloon. To play this game at the next level, click the orange balloon. To go back to the woods and find something else to do, click the light blue balloon. To play this game again, click the pink balloon. To play this game again, click the pink balloon. To play this game at the next level, click the orange balloon. To go back to the back to the woods. Thank you so very much for helping us with our rain dance patterns. Come back soon. The garden gets thirsty often, you know. Yeah. 
<laughs> this first letter is for Kanga from Old Long Ears. This second letter is for Kanga from Old Featherhead. And this third letter with the stripedies all over it <laughs> is for Little Rue from yours truly. <laughs> The bees are flying in a circle. I do hope they don't get dizzy. <laughs> one for you and one for me. Thank you. When there's two who want to share, we simply have to split a pair. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I believe that ten penguins have just slid down the snowy hill. Now we shall head in a rather eastish direction. Oh, good. I was just wishing we might go to the wishing well. And now we shall. I'll paint my stripedies a wishing well. What does a wishing well do? I think the well makes wishes and hopes that they come true. Look, it's showing us some numbers. Is that a five I see? Hey, there's a two. I see a six. What do these numbers mean? Well, my friends, it's clear to me, as far as I can tell. These numbers tell us which set of things should go inside the well. Oh, like two of this. Or six of that. Yes, that's it, I'm sure. Will you help us figure out what the well is wishing for? Hmm, this wishing well is a pretty deep subject. <laughs> I wonder what this wishing well is wishing for. Toys! Umbrella. A friendly flower. Um, I believe the numbers tell us what it wants. What do you mean, Al? When the well shows us a number, it means the well wants a... Please pick... A numero three. <laughs> nice pick, but I've had my turn. <laughs> Gee, it was fun watching you find that set of five. Excellent job of finding that set of four. What a good set finder you are. Oops, count real carefully. That was neat how you found that set of two. Oh, <laughs> it's so nice of you to choose little old me. But see, I've had a turn. Why not pick somebody else? Oh my, I'd like to go again, but I already had my turn. Can you find someone else? Thanks, but I've had a turn. Figures. Guess you should pick someone else. No thanks, I already had a turn. Pick someone else. That's four. Excellent job of finding that set of four. What a good set finder you are. It's our pleasure to thank you for all your help in finding sets. And the Wishing Well thanks you too. This pretty set of pots will look particularly pleasing in any position in which they happen to pose in your Perfect garden. Mm -hmm. I think I just 
hopped a periwinkle. To play this game again, click the pink balloon. To play this game at the next level, click the orange balloon. To go back to the woods and find something else to do, click the light blue balloon. You were simply splendid. Come back soon. Aha! The number ten. Hmm, it's the number twenty. Oh, the number thirty. Oh, the number forty. Look, number fifty. My, it's number sixty. My, seventy. Look, eighty. Goodness, number ninety. At last, number one hundred. I believe, if I believed in wishes, which I do believe in, I believe I'd wish for a pot full of honey for every number I've counted, and for all those I haven't counted too. Ready, set, go! First, second, third! Hooray! Redbug is the winner! This comes as no surprise, as Mr. Redbug was quite well ahead from the start. I believe that busily buzzing bee is hungry. I get hungry too in the morning just before breakfast, and sometimes after. It seems those two very small frogs weigh the same. Now we shall go to Tigger's and see what his contraption is making today, <laughs> besides just making a racket. Let's try and make some fur. Wow. That is one good sap sucker! Fantastical! You really know your first, seconds, and thirds and stuff! <laughs> Thanks! First, I. Ooh, excellent orange emptier! Oh, yes! That first, second, and third stuff is what you do the best! <laughs> Thanks! First, I need a. Your. Ooh, nice dirt untangler! Oh boy, thanks a heap for helping create that contraption! Thank <laughs> you. 
It's a vegetable Yanker fire. <laughs> yeah! Thanks for helping yours truly make that contraption. <laughs> Fifth, I need a wooden stick. Why, it's a holla fryer! You're really swell. You make me wish I was a contraption so you could put my parts first, second, and third, and you know, like that. This fountain looks like it might spring a leak any second. Well, I'd better zip it on back to your garden. To play this game again, click the pink balloon. To play this game at the next level, click the orange balloon. To go back to the woods and find something else to do, click the light blue balloon. Back to the woods. TTFN, hope you had a swell time. I believe it is the perfect day for us to visit Eeyore. And we can check his calendar, just to make sure. <laughs>
Oh, very good. You formed a six? What a nice seven you've drawn. <laughs> That's great! You've made the number eight! Good for you. Now touch the snail to form another number. Don't let that snail fool you. Just follow him carefully. Oh my! That snail's gone and lost you! Just follow him carefully! Isn't that fine? You filled in the number nine. Oh, good job! And now touch the snail so he will know it's time to form another number. Good number drawing. Now all there is to do is tickle the critter and get moving on to the next number. Looks like the snail's ready for a new line. Give him a poke to get going. Oh, splendid, splendid! That's a, a wonderful ten you've formed. Thanks for your help forming those numbers. It wouldn't have happened without you. And now I've got a very nice calendar. Carrots are supposed to help you see better. Well, I wouldn't know. They taste so good. I always eat them with my eyes closed. To play this game again, click the pink balloon. To play this game at the next level, click the orange balloon. To go back to the woods and find something else to do, click the light blue balloon. 
Bye for now. Thanks for helping to draw those numbers. And now we shall head due north by northwardly. Next, we shall visit your very own garden. Oh, it's nice to be back here at your garden. And look how neatly Rabbit has arranged patches for you to plant your garden in. Why, thank you, Pooh Bear. And just to get you started, I've left you three seed packets of my favorite flowers, petunias, pansies, and sunflowers. Uh, but those seeds can't grow without water, you know. So I've also left a watering can for you to give those seeds a well-deserved drink once you've planted them. I do believe someone has left you a note on the back of the fence. <laughs> Shall we open it and see what it says? If I look at a six and then stand on my head a rooney, <laughs> the six becomes a nine before my very two eyes. <laughs> the sunflowers will be wonderful over in the sunflower patch. To make these sunflower seeds sunflowers, just add water. Plants rather like a small smackerel of water now and then. Carrots care only for the carrot patch, if they care at all. <laughs> If you keep your plants watered, they shall grow big and strong. Pansies will bloom brightly in the pansy patch. Watering your pet. We shall have to water them to keep them happy. It has been my experience that petunias always do well in the petunia patch. I like petunias. Happy petunias are watered petunias. Yes, the tomatoes will plump up red and juicy over there in the tomato patch. Your tomato... Plants rather like a small smackerel of water now and then. Wow, it looks like there are 100 of me. My, that scarecrow certainly scared one crow. Your garden, it seems, is safe for now. I'm going to jump first. I'm going to jump second. And I'm going to jump third. Oh, very nicely done. <laughs> it looks just like Tigger. If you water it, that shrub will return to its old huge self. Hooray! 
Say, it seems to me that thistle looks quite a bit happier. <laughs> Thanks to you. One, two, three. Yellow, blue, and yellow, blue. Yellow, blue, yellow, blue. Always a tasty pattern to view. That pod is certainly large enough to hold one walnut. That's a pot that holds ten whole walnuts. Oh goodness, that pot's large enough to hold one hundred walnuts. How very nice. It looks like my very dear friend, Piglet. Oh, look! That looks just like... Um, me! Very nicely done. <laughs> it looks just like Tigger. If you water it, that shrub will return to its old huge self. If you water it, that shrub will return to its old huge self. Watering that shrub will make it grow large and scruffy again. This allows you to print. If you'd like a picture of your garden now, choose the green balloon. This allows you to print. If you'd like a picture of your god. This, I'm certainly sad to say, means you'll be leaving our hundred acre wood for a while. If you really must go, click on the green balloon. Are you most certainly certain you must go? If you are, then pick low balloon. If you'd like to explore just a little bit more, choose the purple balloon. I shall simply say a simple good day. For when you're of a mind to play again, the Hundred Acre Wood will always be here, and we'll always be waiting just for you. Uh.